السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد حفیظ پرفارمنس مینجمنٹ دس از دا کورس وچ از آن اینڈ ٹوڈیز ٹاپک از پرفارمنس اسٹینڈرڈس واٹ از پرفارمنس پرفارمنس از ٹوٹل آؤٹ پٹ آف این انڈیویجول آف این آرگنائزیشن آف اے گروپ but it is generally measured for an individual of an individual performance of an individual of a group of a team of an organization of a country can go up or down the performance of an individual can decline due to certain circumstances it may improve due to various factors however in the context in which we are talking about performance and its standards encouragement and support these are the key elements factors of today's performance management whether an individual receives encouragement or not whether he or she receives support from the organizations the superiors the people around if that happens performance can go up we will talk about performance standards little bit later but let us talk about some of the issues which are around it jisko hum usually kehte hain idhar udhar ki baatein ek cheez idhar udhar ki baaton mein jo mujhe important lagti hai hai you will also probably perceive the same way make a note of it in the same way i was reading a magazine the economist last year and i picked up a picture or an advertisement from that magazine it is on the screen if you like to have a look in the picture you see a chameleon extending its tongue and making a sort of a flower to attract a butterfly and actually to eat it it says if you innovate they will come now the point i like to make here is innovation innovation in products innovation in services innovation in systems if i like to make you see the same slide or picture again the chameleon who eats insects or butterflies or something with its tongue which is quite sticky and long it extends and that insect or butterfly get get stuck to its tongue and the chameleon eats it now while making a sort of a flower with its tongue the butterfly is expected to be lured towards that flower which you see on the screen 
and the chameleon eats it. Now, this is sort of, one may say that is, this is cheating, may be possible. Somebody might say that, like sometimes you see body shaping equipment which is being publicized, advertised on television screens. The advertisements or publicities are quite luring and people end up buying such equipment. Now, this is innovation. It may have its pluses, it may have its own negatives. But, I like to state, I like to emphasize that innovation has its own pluses when you are manufacturing either products or offering services or you are a consultancy firm to improve systems in various organizations. Innovations do work. Now, I like you to see another slide on the screen. The slide shows an advertisement of an airline. It shows two pictures, one showing a woman passenger extending her legs in an aircraft and shows how comfortable the passenger is in a way sitting in that airliner. The second picture on the right side, if you look at it, there are two persons sitting, one woman and one man. They are talking to each other in a very comfortable way. Now, these two pictures show how an airline has innovated the design, style of the seats in that airliner and thereby attracting passengers to fly with that airline. So, innovation in, to me is quite an important factor or can be an important factor for changing or developing or improving standards in an organization. Whether it is a manufacturing organization, service, delivery organization or some sort of consultancy which is offering solutions of problems, developing systems for different organizations. Similarly, here is another picture. This picture shows a business hotel. It shows live. There is a man and woman in that hotel room talking to each other in a very comfortable environment, very beautiful environment in the background. No. This is an innovation of two types. One, hotel may be like that. Two, innovation in hotel industry. Innovation in advertising. Innovation, how a hotel could look like. No. What I wanted to convey a message about these factors which I mentioned around innovation, the point was, the message was that innovation could change performance standards, could introduce new performance standards. I remember in Pakistani hotels at one time there were no televisions. Then small screens came. Then bigger screens, screens came into hotel rooms. Similarly, many other facilities. Now, these innovations make an important contribution towards improving standards. And if you don't share or communicate these standards, new standards, 
innovative standards to your employees, probably they will not be able to work in the direction in which the organization wants to. If you look at the same slide or picture again, it shows that hotel with a life, like it gives you life if you come into this hotel. People work for life. Life is not for work. So if you show that you are, if you are on a business tour and you are staying in this hotel, it will, you, it will give you good life. People will like to travel for business purposes and secondly, as a bonus, they might enjoy good life in a hotel like which is shown on the screen. Performance standards, kya hote hain? Performance standards banane ke liye conditions chahiye. Kya wo conditions exist karti hain? Kaun si conditions hain? Kis tarah ki conditions hain? Aap ne hotel mein ek life dene ka promise to kiya, for example. Lekin jab koi passenger hotel room mein jata hai, तो जो लाइफ की कंडीशंस आपने प्रॉमिस की हैं और वहां पे मौजूद नहीं है तो डिससेटिस्फैक्शन बढ़ेगी आपकी होटल की ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के बारे में या होटल के बारे में तो कंडीशंस जो हैं वो कोई किसी एक चीज का नाम नहीं है वो बहुत सारी चीजों का नाम है attitudes of those people who receive the passengers let's say in the parking lot then in the on the entrance room or entrance door then in the lobby then on the receiving area then probably when the passengers are taken to the room then in the room then the services which are needed at different times of the day and night. Now all these are conditions which relate to performance standards. It, it, it includes good quality food, it includes beverages, it includes your attitude, your communication, your promptness, Business services, telephone, fax, email, computer related services, printing services, all these things. Well, performance can only be stated as satisfactory if uh, these conditions, which are multiple in nature, if all these conditions prevail if all these conditions are available. Now, with this, you must communicate all those expectations from employees which lead to effective performance. Now, what I am trying to say, same in the case of a hotel, if performance standards in all areas of services, food, clothing, reception, transportation, communication, beauty, cleanliness, what actually relates to life, which has been promised through the advertisement, through the publicity. Now, that must be conveyed to all employees in hotel organization. When it is conveyed to them, it actually conveys expectations. What is expected of an each and every employee in the organization. When that happens, Employees are, one, motivated. Two, they are, in a way, you can say, pushed 
to do what is expected from them and I would say that it also offers a kind of support from the organization, from the management that all employees must perform integratively to give or to provide life, good quality of life to those who stay in that hotel. This is a promise of support by the organization to all individuals in the organization in whichever capacity they are working, whether in food department, whether in service department, serving food or serving clothing or doing uh, or delivering other services in, including communication systems or uh, telephone or fax or so many other services which are available in good hotels. When you do that, if you look at the screen, now supervisors, they actually look at you when you are acting, when you are doing things or delivering services. And if there is a some sort of fault or mistake or something, they actually correct you, sometimes on the spot, sometimes later on. So if you look at the totality of the issue, that is performance standards, it has several dimensions depending upon the nature of the organization, nature of the product, nature of services, or nature of systems which are being improved, established, built, constructed. Now, I like to mention a point here that undue expectations can be damaging. Don't put undue expectations on different people. Suppose, hotel example again, if you expect that a person who is in food department, who is, who is a worker in the kitchen, who cooks good food, if you, if you put him into, let's say for example, in a receiving area, he might not be good in communication. He might be good in cooking, but not good in communication. So if there is undue expectation that that person could be replaced in a receiving area, in a reception area, on the reception desk, wrong. Undue and bad expectation. It may actually be counterproductive. So if you put undue expectations on an individual in an organization in the capacity in which he or she cannot work that probably will be counterproductive. So be careful when you do things, when you develop standards, undue expectations may not be so good or higher than the capacity of the person. The expectation could be injurious for overall performance of the organization or even for individual. Now, how do you develop standards which work for the organization? One, when you develop standards, employees must participate in the process. Process of developing standards because it builds trust. It helps maintain or it helps to maintain positive relations among employees. If you like to build useful performance standards, then those standards must be measurable, must be observable. It may be difficult in certain situations, but at times there are ways to measure, there are ways to observe certain behaviors which may have outcomes later on. For example, education. Now, when we give education, it may not happen the same day that your attitude is changed, your knowledge base is changed, 
and your behavior is behavior changes it may not happen the same day or maybe next days it may happen little later so if i am teaching somebody to make a change in his attitude and behavior in a let's say university situation it may not work in the on the same day but you still can measure the performance of a teacher by observing how does he or she teach what sort of tools he or she uses how much aids skills communication ability he or she uses to impart knowledge to students so measurable observable is very important for both supervisors and employees and you can tell these things if the task is finished completed satisfactorily if the teacher was doing making due efforts to teach students you can say that your performance at least in terms of your effort was good in terms of result in the exam it may come later so it must be measurable and observable but in certain cases it may be difficult you may just focus on the um, effort or you may focus on what had been done not in terms of let's say result in the exam no it should be realistic your expectations must be realistic for example if you are teaching a person who is 16 years old for a managerial job in a hotel probably it is difficult for expecting a trainer like me to train a person at the age of 16 or 15 or something so that he could handle management at a top hotel so i must have realistic expectations realistic standards whereby i could expect that it is possible so for the position of a manager in a hotel probably 35 40 or maybe more this age of person probably is a requirement although there are exceptions always so on that account when you talk about performance standards they not only should be realistic but also attainable sometimes performance standards are realistic but conditions are not available support is not available they may not be attainable for example the same case hotel manager is capable manager has all the capacity to manage people but at the same time hotel rooms are old with the defective furniture old windows and he probably does not ha- does not have enough resources to bring changes in the infrastructure of those rooms in that hotel so they must be attainable and if these are attainable then do, you can measure if you are associating expectations unrealistically which are not attainable you are actually damaging your organization because it will make you expect something which is not possible and ultimately it will discourage the employees because they won't be able to achieve or attain now expressing performance standards you need to communicate performance standards to all those who are involved in production of products or de- delivery of services 
or improving systems. There are eight points which I like to share with you. The first screen so shows four of them and the next screen will also show four points. Quantity, quality, timeliness, effective use of resources, effects of effort, cooperation or manner of performance or cooperative environment, method of performing assignments, tasks, jobs and finally importance of local culture. When you express your uh, performance standards, quantity, how much work to be completed in a specified or specific time. For example, how many particular products are to be manufactured in one hour, two hours, eight hours, one day, one week, per month, something. So, quantity is a very good measure of performance standard. You associate with a person's full day performance that that individual is expected to manufacture, for example, 10 parts of a motorbike in one day. This is an average which has been in a way expressed to individuals that this is average performance that th 10 components will be manufactured in a day. If somebody performs better, produces 12, he or she is given an extra mark for it. If a person produces 8, 7 or 9, maybe a relatively lesser score. So, quantity is a very good measure which can be conveyed, expressed to all employees according to their tasks or assignments. The second component is quality. How well that component is manufactured. The work completed in terms of quantity, how accurate the, the component is, what level of precision that component is manufactured, what is the appearance of the component, how does it look, does it appeal to the customer, does it look clean, does it look neat, does it look manufactured with precision, accuracy? Now, there may be different quality measures in different organizations. These were for a product, but as I mentioned, in a hotel, quality of service is a customer satisfied. How satisfied? Lowly, mildly, or highly satisfied? exceptionally satisfied. Did you offer good quality services in all areas? Did you offer services on time when the service was needed? Sometimes I remember happening with me even that I am hungry, I need food in next 10 minutes or 15 minutes, it came after one hour. Now, my hunger is gone, for example. Now, if that hunger of mine or appetite of, appetite of mine is not provided to me within a time frame which is expected, then obviously you have not provided good service. So, the timeliness, the quality of service may include many dimensions for different organizations, for different manufacturing organizations or for different service delivery organizations. If you look at the screen, you see 
effective use of resources, efficiency. What amount of resources you used to manufacture a component, including your time, including labor time of other people, including the material you used to manufacture the equipment, how much material you used, in which time, in what time. Is it efficient? Was it efficient? Did you provide good services to your hotel guests on time? Good services all around? Sometimes it just so happens that you served a client or a guest in a hotel for three days and something happens on the last day when the guest is going to leave and something happens, his image of the quality of service you provided for the last three days, it may actually go down the drain and he may end up complaining with the organization, with the management this, that this is how I was treated on the last day or something. So, these are very significant matters when it comes to quality. Quality has many dimensions, several dimensions, depending upon the nature of product or nature of service. You can imagine a, hotel, a hospital, an airline industry. You can imagine a food outlet. You can imagine an airport. You can imagine a road, street lighting, government services, welfare services. There are so many areas and so many dimensions of measuring performance. Now look at the screen. If you see effects of effort. Now, what is the ultimate effect of what you are doing? Effect is very important. Effect may have many dimensions. As I mentioned, the quality, quality has many dimensions. Effect of your contribution, of your work, in whichever capacity you are working in an organization, it may have, the effect may have many dimensions. Whatever you do, whatever efforts you make, what effect your efforts leave, for example, on the image of the organization, for example, the productivity of the organization, in terms of manufacturing or in terms of services. I give you an example. It is actually a bit emotional for me as well. I was a member of an unfair means committee at the university. A unfair, an unfair means case came to me for decision and judgment. A girl who was a mother who appeared in BA examination or bachelor examination from Atak, Atak district. When she came for appearance, she was carrying a young child in her lap. When I asked few questions, I understood that she is not at fault and she came all the way from Atak to Lahore through the night because she did not have any relatives in Lahore and she did not want to stay in a hotel probably. She could not afford to stay in a hotel. So she traveled through the night and 9 o'clock in the morning she was in the uni to appear for that UMC or unfair means case. When she went away, 
after the hearing, the people in the university, they told me that this is actually sort of a case which should not have been there or something. When I got sure, I asked somebody to find that girl and bring her back here in the room. Somebody went and brought her in, although she has left the building. I actually apologized on behalf of university. I actually apologized for the mistake somebody else did in attack, who probably was not an employee of the university. But because it was the image of the university which was at stake, that is why I apologized. Now, this was my action to improve the image of the university. And this is again a quality, a performance, which you can decide for your organization in different dimensions. So effects of effort, it actually focuses on what is the ultimate effect you want to be obtained. In this case, the UMC case, the ultimate effect was the good image of the uni. And it was to restore the image in that girl's mind because it was the mistake of somebody else, but it, she was taking it as university, not that individual in that hall where she was sitting for examination. The next point is cooperation or manner of performance. Conditions in which an individual personal behavior has an effect on performance. I just explained that to you. What sort of cooperation you extend, what sort of ways do you do your tasks? You might have heard or read or listened recently that Governor State Bank of Pakistan has resigned. Because it is actually the lack of cooperation between him and those who are involved in the working of the state bank. Because support is not being given to state bank as an autonomous body, independence body, so that is why the governor has resigned. If the support is given to that body to make its contribution as an independent body, probably he would not have resigned. So, individual's personal behavior has an effect on the performance of many people in the organization. If there is cooperation at the top, below, and also horizontally, performance standards or performance itself can improve. The next point is methods of performing or tasks or assignments. What sort of methods do you use? Which way you do things? Are you proactive? Or you wait for the situation to arise? How do you do it? Methods are quite important. We talked about performance, but before performance, there is a process. Process has its own significance. Sometimes the results come late, but the processes can be the process can be observed now when it is happening. At this juncture, I like to make a point about the importance of local culture. Sometimes an act in a country, in a culture, in a society is acceptable. The way things are done in a culture are acceptable. It may not be acceptable in another culture or in your own local culture. So, culture has its own importance because you must understand 
that why that governor state of pakistan governor state bank of pakistan resigned probably he felt that according to the current scenario of the country what he believed in what he believed what was good for pakistan or for the state bank was not agreeable to other people according to the local cultural conditions and possibly they may, he may not have, have agreement with let's say the values or systems which are being uh, given to us by international organizations like imf or world bank or some other organizations so local systems local culture values they have their own significance when such performance standards are evaluated measured or given judgments now we shall talk about four steps towards developing performance standards step 1 identify the top 3 to 5 primary job responsibility of an employee matlab kehne ka ye hai ki ek employee ki jo main ya primary zimmedariyan hain jo top ki 3 4 5 hain unko identify kare aur isko karne ke liye jo current job profile hai kisi employee ka usko istemal kare उसकी ड्यूटीज को एनालाइज करें खास तौर पे उन ड्यूटीज या उन जिम्मेदारियां या वो टास्क या वो काम जिस पे उस एम्प्लॉई का ज्यादा वक्त लगता है या गुजरता है द ग्रेटेस्ट परसेंटेज ऑफ टाइम विच इज स्पेंट ऑन एन एक्टिविटी और थ्री टू फाइव और थ्री टू फोर फाइव एक्टिविटीज जहां पे सबसे ज्यादा टाइम लगता हो लुक ऑन दोज एक्टिविटीज दोज टास्क ये पहली बात है कि जब आपने कोई डेवलपमेंट करनी है स्टैंडर्ड्स की या स्टैंडर्ड परफॉर्मेंस स्टैंडर्ड्स को डेवलप करना है तो पहली बात यह है कि किसी भी एम्प्लॉय के किसी भी कैपेसिटी में वो होटल की रिसेप्शन पे है या फूड डिपार्टमेंट में है या लॉन्ड्री सर्विसेज में है या कहीं और है तो उसकी मेजर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज देखें वो किस किस जगह ज्यादा वक्त गुजारता है या गुजारती है आपको पता चलेगा कि कहां पे लेट से टाइम वेस्टर्स हैं या कहां पे इसके टाइम की ज्यादा अहमियत है तो ये पहला स्टेप है कि किसी भी एम्प्लॉय की उस जॉब में कहां पे ज्यादा वक्त गुजरता है और वो कौन सी दो तीन चार पांच जॉब्स हैं या टास्क हैं या असाइनमेंट्स हैं जिस पे उस एक वर्कर का एक एम्प्लॉय का ज्यादा वक्त गुजरता है एक और चीज है स्टेप नंबर टू परफॉर्मेंस इंडिकेटर्स कौन से हैं कि सेटिस्फैक्ट्री परफॉर्मेंस उन तीन चार पांच जॉब्स जो वो एम्प्लॉई कर रहा है जिस पे उसका ज्यादा वक्त लग रहा है उसके परफॉर्मेंस इंडिकेटर्स कौन कौन से हैं? ये वेरी करेगा प्रोडक्ट्स में या सर्विसेज में या किसी और जगह जिस तरह की भी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हो होटल के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से वहां पे अगर उसकी जॉब है रिसेप्शन पे क्या वो रिसेप्शन पे हमेशा मौजूद होता है क्या वो नीट एंड क्लीन लगता है क्या वो अच्छा ड्रेसअप होता है क्या वो पोलाइटली बात करता है क्या उसका एटीट्यूड एंड बिहेवियर वो हेल्पिंग है हेल्पफुल है अब ये परफॉर्मेंस के इंडिकेटर्स मैंने बताया फॉर ए पर्सन ऑन ए रिसेप्शन जॉब एट ए होटल इन ए मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्री इट कुड बी ऑल टूगेदर डिफरेंट so to understand and develop standards you must really observe as a supervisor 
what sort of tasks, what sort of assignments a person does mainly और उसमें जोर किस चीज पे है जो मेन टाइम आपका लेती हैं किसी एम्प्लॉय का तीन चार पांच मेन टास्क कौन सी हैं इससे ज्यादा भी हो सकती है कम भी हो सकती है तो जब उनको देखेंगे तो आपको वहां में वहां पे इंडिकेटर्स मिलेंगे मेजरमेंट के आजकल कैमरे वीडियो कैमरे आम लगे होते हैं वो भी मेजर करते रहते हैं सुपरवाइजर्स भी देखते रहते हैं मैनेजर्स भी देखते हैं बाज का आपके कस्टमर्स या जो गेस्ट आते हैं वो भी आपने देखा होगा होटल्स में वो आपसे इवेल्युएशन फॉर्म या आपका काम आपसे कॉमेंट्री फॉर्म फिल करवाते हैं कि किस जगह पे आपको कोई शिकायत नजर आई किस जगह पे आपको सेटिस्फैक्ट्री सर्विस मिली जैसे एयरलाइंस भी या एयरलाइनर आप हवाई जहाज में सफर करते हैं वहां पर भी इस तरह की चीज मौजूद होती है तो ये क्या चीज है कि वो जो मेजरमेंट के इंडिकेटर्स हैं ये इसकी सिग्निफिकेंस बताई जा रही है कि मेजरमेंट के इंडिकेटर्स कैसे डेवलप होते हैं जिनका जिक्र पहले हुआ था ऑब्जर्वेबल मेजरेबल जो आप बता सकें जो आप उस एम्प्लॉय को बता सकें जिसको डॉक्यूमेंट कर सकें कि आपका बिहेवियर इन दैट सिचुएशन वॉज गुड और फॉर दैट मैटर प्रॉब्लमली इट वॉज बैड और फिर जब वो बुरा है बैड है आप उसको बताएंगे कि आपको इस तरह से एक्ट नहीं करना चाहिए था इस तरह से करना चाहिए था तो ये दूसरा स्टेप था जो परफॉर्मेंस इंडिकेटर्स की बात थी अब तीसरा देखेंगे जो मिनिमम लेवल ऑफ एक्सेप्टेबल परफॉर्मेंस है वो क्या है यानी मैंने पहले बात की थी ना कि लेट से दस पार्ट या कंपोनेंट आपने एक दिन में बनाने मिनिमम शायद आठ है जो एवरेज है वो दस है मैक्सिमम बारह चौदह पंद्रह कितना भी जितना भी हो सकता है जब आप मिनिमम बता सकते हैं कि इससे नीचे आएगा तो यू विल बी रेटेड एज ए पुअर परफॉर्मर सो इसको कहते हैं मिनिमाज या मिनिमम स्टैंडर्ड्स वो भी बताने पड़ते हैं ये तीसरा स्टेप है डेवलपिंग परफॉर्मेंस स्टैंडर्ड्स के हवाले से ये तीसरा स्टेप है क्या आप मिनिमम भी बताते हैं समटाइम मैक्सिमम भी बताते हैं एवरेज भी बताते हैं फिर एवरेज के ऊपर रेटिंग आप करते हैं एम्प्लॉय की परफॉर्मेंस की होटल की होटल के केस में शायद हर दफा किसी की परफॉर्मेंस अगर अच्छी हो तो आप समझते हैं कि ये इसको ज्यादा अच्छा रेट किया जा सकता है तो हर जगह पे ये डिफरेंट शायद चीजें होंगी चौथा पॉइंट अगर आप देखते हैं इसमें क्या चीज है कि आपकी जब आप मेजर करते हैं तो एम्प्लॉयी का जो परफॉर्मेंस है उसको आप प्राइमरी जॉब क्या है रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज क्या है उसके मुताबिक फाइनल आउटपुट क्या है और किस तरह से किस तरीके से वो कर रहा है क्या कोई कमेंट्स है उनको डॉक्यूमेंट किया जा रहा है क्रिटिकल कमेंट्स हैं कस्टमर के फॉर एग्जांपल कोई डॉक्यूमेंटेशन की जा रही है अगर आप ये कर रहे हैं तो फिर परफॉर्मेंस स्टैंडर्ड बनाने में आप ड्यू स्टेप्स ले रहे हैं नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट सम ऑफ द पिटफॉल्स और खराबियां और मसले मसाइल टूवर्ड्स डेवलपिंग परफॉर्मेंस स्टैंडर्ड्स वन मेजर डिफिकल्टी वी फेस इज असेसिंग टीम परफॉर्मेंस इंडिविजुअल्स वर्क वेन वी मेजर परफॉर्मेंस वी एक्चुअली मेजर द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ इंडिविजुअल्स बट वेन वी वर्क इन टीम्स समटाइम्स इंडिविजुअल्स परफॉर्मेंस इज डिफिकल्ट टू मेजर so we must have certain ways to measure individual performance even when they are working in teams i have given examples like football team playing in the field somebody gives a pass the other hits close to the goal or something and the third person hits the goal 
Now, who is to be judged who has performed well from among these three players, for example? Probably they all three deserve the credit. But probably you will give more credit to the person who hit the ball and sent, sent the ball in the goal. So this is important when you, this is a pitfall, this is a masla or kharabi when you measure the performance of individuals in a team because the third person who hit the goal probably could not have done it without the help of the other two persons. So it is important to see who performed, which way, which direction and how it ultimately improved performance of individual or the org or the team. This point may actually may not be valid in every institution. Sometimes a manager he is responsible for, for the performance of the whole team. The captain, for example, in this case. So it is not always individual. But sometimes it is the individual who actually makes people act in a direction. I just explained the scene. The second point, if you look, how do you really micromanage? People use different methods to achieve results. Value unique contributions. Different people do things differently. Now, if you see these things, understand that sometimes people have to do things in different ways. Performance standards may vary with individual situation and how these are implemented. You may disagree, you may agree. Sometimes one person may do things in a direction, in a way which you may not like or you may disagree, but there are different ways of doing things. Sometimes in exams, a question is attempted in different ways and examiners sometimes do not agree with the way a question is attempted. Sometimes standards are unrealistic. Sometimes standards are not updated. Sometimes when you measure performance, it is contaminated. I just explained in team performance, if you give total credit to the person who hit the goal, probably it is not fair. So that will be a contaminated measure to judge the performance of team players. You also sometimes have to judge motivation. Who among these three players was highly motivated to win the game? Sometimes there are soft targets, soft ways of doing things, sometimes hard ways. Now, was it soft to hit the goal? Was it very difficult? How did you defend a goal? For example, as a goalie, how do you do? There are so many dimensions. Sometimes there is a compound effect, integrated effect. You can't just break into pieces. For example, again, the team performance. Sometimes there are not very specific or measurable standards. They are immeasurable. You cannot just measure. So these are difficulties. If you are performing that, well, a person, will he perform or she perform in the exam well, and you are giving education today, probably you cannot make a judgment today. You may make a judgment after one year when he or she will appear in the exam. So sometimes standards are difficult to implement today. How information about the performance and employees gathered, which way, just by looking at the way he taught today or every lecture or every day or through the semester or through the year, what would you do? These are difficulties of measuring the performance. 
Now, these were the points which I wanted to share with you on performance standards. I just like to wrap up by saying that when you implement performance standards, when you develop performance standards, when you measure performance standards, there are complexities. But if you look into them closely, if you look into them for a purpose, let me tell you, there are ways to measure, improve performance standards in any organization, whether it is manufacturing, service-oriented, or any other form of organization. With these words, I end the session today. We'll see you again. Khuda Hafiz.